Hey everyone, Laser Dave here again with TroTech Laser. I want to take you on a deep dive into the process of batch engraving with your laser system, showing every step in the creation of a fixture from the design to the finished laser process result. It is far more efficient to run products in batches to get the full benefit from your laser system when engraving large volumes of small products. Here's an example of a 2 by 3.5 inch business card shape anodized aluminum tag. I will laser engrave this graphic into a single tag using my Speedy 400 80 watt laser. The processing time is 1 minute and 41 seconds, not including the load and unload time. However, if I run the same design in a small batch configured 3x3 three three for 9 tags, the average part process time is only 50 seconds each. If I configure that same 9 parts into a single row and run the same settings, the efficiency is even better, producing an average in only 29 seconds each, nearly three and a half times faster than running a single part at a time. This illustrates the drastic improvement of the efficiency of running batches, allowing the laser to maintain high speeds to produce a far greater number of products. To make this process practical and efficient, fixtures are required. A fixture allows consistently shaped products to be placed into a fixed location to benefit from the efficiency just demonstrated. I will use the same 2 by 3.5 inch business card shaped anodized aluminum tag as the product produced in this two layer tray style fixture. Choosing the fixture material is critical. I recommend that acrylic or rigid plastics be used in the construction. However, MDF wood or high quality plywood can also work as long as the finished fixture is stored flat and kept dry to reduce the chance for warpage. For this video, I will use Troglass brand 3mm satin cast acrylic in two different colors. This tutorial will use CorelDRAW for the graphic creation. Any version of CorelDRAW should work to design a long-lasting, reusable fixture. First, open the software to a new page, then select the rectangle tool from the left side toolbar. Draw a rectangle onto the page, then measure the exact dimensions of the product. In this case, it will be a 2 by 3.5 inch tag. However, a pro tip is to add about 3 thousandths of an inch, or .003, to each dimension, so the product is not too tight in the fixture, making it difficult to load and unload. So in this case, the rectangle will be 3.503 by 2.003 inches. Now select the ellipse tool from the left side toolbar, and make sure that snap to objects is turned on and then draw a small circle about three quarters of an inch on one side of the rectangle. This will be the finger hole for the quick removal of the finished parts. Now select that circle, set the duplication distance to zero zero, then choose Control plus D to duplicate the circle in place. With that circle selected, hold down the shift key, select the rectangle, and then the weld tool to weld one of the circles to the rectangle. Now select the other circle and right click on blue to change the color. Now select all and then select Ctrl plus D again to duplicate the shape. Select and drag the X at the center and move the duplicated shape while holding the Ctrl key on the keyboard to the desired distance. Then select Ctrl plus D repeatedly until a row is as long as needed. Now select that row and choose Ctrl plus D to duplicate the row. Select and drag the X at the center and move that duplicated row down while again holding the control key on the keyboard to the desired distance. Then again select control D repeatedly until a sheet of this outline is complete. Select the rectangle tool and draw an outline slightly smaller than the material or the laser field size around the array just completed. I recommend that fixtures be labeled to indicate orientation. Another pro tip to make it easier to find the matching design file for future use is to engrave the file name directly onto the fixture. The fixture design is now complete. Now it needs to be broken into two different layers. Select everything, then choose copy. Then we will add a new page to the file. Once in the new page, select paste. This will be the back layer. We will only need the circles and the outline for this layer. Delete all the rest of the graphics, and then make everything a red outline and group it together. Now add a third page to the file, and then select Paste again. This will be the front layer. This layer will not need the circle, so I will delete only the circles, leaving the rest of the file. 
There will now be multiple pages at the bottom of the screen with each design. Save each one of these pages as a standalone PDF or separate them as their own separate CorelDRAW file. Once the files are saved, open the Trotec Ruby software. In Ruby, select Import, then select the first file. I will start with the top layer. Select Open, then select the file and create a job. Move the file slightly away from the edge, then choose the material from the materials database. In this case, I will use Troglass 3mm cast acrylic and then send the file to the laser for processing. Place the acrylic sheet into the laser, focus, close the lid and start the file. The laser will engrave the black labeling and then cut the outline into the acrylic sheet. Once complete, remove the finished sheet and then set the part aside. Now repeat the process with the bottom layer by opening the bottom layer file in Ruby, selecting the material, and sending the second file to the laser for processing. Place a second sheet of acrylic into the laser, and now the laser will cut the bottom file with the finger holes and the outline. Once finished, remove from the laser. Now that both sides of the fixture are complete, it's time for assembly. Place the top sheet on the bottom sheet, making sure they are perfectly aligned. Then use acrylic glue to glue the sheets together. The tray style fixture is now complete. A tray style fixture like this is ideal because this style of fixture can be preloaded and unloaded from the laser for a greater efficiency. And when a second duplicate fixture is constructed, one can be unloaded and loaded with blank tags while the other fixture is running in the laser, saving even more time. Now create or open the design that will be processed using this fixture. In this case, the anodized asset tag design we saw before will be what I will use. Copy and paste or import that design into the fixture file and ensure that snap to objects is turned on. Now snap the file to the fixture file and then duplicate that file into the fixture until complete. Once finished, resave this file as a new standalone file. Now open Ruby, select Import, and then select and open the newly designed file. Then select that file and create a job. Choose the material from the materials database. In this case, it will be anodized aluminum. And then make sure to uncheck the fixture color or colors as they do not need to be laser processed. Then send the file to the laser for processing. Load the fixture with blank anodized aluminum tags in this case. Once complete, place it into the laser by pressing it to the upper left hand side against the laser system rulers. Focus the laser, close the lid and process the file. The laser will now engrave the file perfectly matching the fixture if done correctly. Once complete, remove and repeat. If taken care of, this kind of fixture will last indefinitely, providing high volume batch processing for as long as needed. The design in this video will be provided in the video listing below to get you started. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to see what I laser next. I'll see you next time.